We had a bit of a filler episode. It's not really filler. It was like a downtime episode, right? Meeting Mr. Punch, meeting his gang, and the revelation that he was actually someone we saved in the past. It was a cool little episode, right? Little fun times, you know? We gotta have a little bit of lows before we go to the peak and start slaying some monkeys now. What are we gonna do? We're gonna go back to the kingdom and... Probably get cucked again. Let's begin today's reaction. Okay, back at the kingdom. Look at all these monkeys. Yes, they must all die. What's popping on social media? What's going on? New M coronation. So is the queen going to become like the monarch here or what? They're not going to bring in some random new emperor, right? Oh. That's what Aridia is? <laughs> That's the... It's Aridia Kingdom, but that little robot thing is? Okay. Do I know this person? New character? I'm not sure. I might have been in the earlier episodes. I forgot. Yo, wouldn't it be sick if we crashed this coronation? Like, Adonis comes out of nowhere, ruins the entire ceremony, kills everybody, please? I'd honestly say human humanity kind of regressed. They could have used the power of magic with the witches together to proceed. Well, they became independent, right? That's the whole point. This is such a PR picture, bro. He doesn't know this village. He was there for one fucking day for like 30 minutes to take that picture to look good. Illness, huh? Yeah, it's an illness. Hmm. I wonder who did it. Really? I bet everyone was sleeping just fine. No one's life got impacted from this. The queen. It's gonna be an empress, right? It can't be some random dude. Oh, people are really hyped up about this. Wow, look guys! Look guys! Now, Adonis, show up. Show up and ruin this entire party. Okay. So it's gonna be her. <laughs> what the fuck? Wait! Is this an idol concert? Hold the fuck up! <laughs> Wait! This is so different! Straight up, before we had an emperor, he was like a boomer. Now it's a fucking pop idol. <laughs> okay, this is actually funny. <laughs> but she does really look like Doroka, huh? Magic! Your hearts, you know, the magic that she uses. <laughs> you know what? If my kingdom was a bunch of boomer kings, and suddenly they got replaced with like a fucking K-pop idol? I'd be all down. <laughs> this is actually great. This is hilarious. Oh, your majesty, please step on me. <laughs> These comments going crazy. They even have the fucking otaku idol dance things, dude. This is so out of nowhere. I, I, a show like this is showing me this? Like, damn, this is actually hilarious. Without that veil, though, she really does look like Doroka, huh? And again, you know, the whole theory of, like, time travel, multiverse. It's like a Doroka from, like, a different dimension or something. I don't know. And where is this? This place is very, like, Chinese influence. Look at all the architecture here. Yeah, I guess it's the boonies out here, huh? Bro, that guy's hairline is insane. <laughs> it starts from here. Bro's hairline starts from here. I think that is like a traditional Chinese like hairstyle back in the day, right? When like martial arts and stuff. I'm not completely sure, but I have seen hairstyles like that. What just got cut there? What the? F what the fuck is getting cut? So they know. They know. Who is this person? It's just a bunch of sacrifices. I don't know who exactly they're killing though. Wonder why the, the martial arts people know about, you know, the secret. Woo! <laughs> Applaud. Clap! Oh? Are you- are you allowed to show this? 
This is just science, right? This is not magic, guys. They don't care, right? Hmm. She loves the attention, though. Oh my god, look at her. She's experiencing a high. It's like you don't even know. Wait, this is where Adonis should be, right? The deserts? This guy was one of the few people that was on Dorothea's side. Remember when, the, when, the, when we killed the Emperor? Yeah. This guy's actually pretty important. Childhood friend? Oh, wait, childhood friend? Why does he look so old? He looks so young. <laughs> okay, so he's out here to, I guess, you know, track down an Adonis. So this is his, like, power. Just a bunch of, like, robot hands that can operate by itself. Stick with you even though he treats you like shit. What? We're still going on full revenge. No, we can't live out here in peace. Nope. Uh uh. Uh uh. I agree on that. We should not kill those kind of people. Oh, come on! She's gonna be the main thing getting in your way, though. Every time. He's so mean to her, too, but she's always with them. Is she gonna convince him to go on the path of non-revenge? I hope not, because I'm here for the revenge. Mm. Okay. We're gonna go around controlling a bunch of people? Okay. It, it is a very useful power. It's incredibly powerful. Good question. Well, she has, like, a set of rules, I think. She has, like, a set of, like, ethic code. Unlike Dorothea, she just uses it on everyone she wants. Because mm. Dorothy is too kind. She's too good for her own good. It'd be funny if she actually did, but he never simped for her. Like, he is just so fucking Sigma. He never cared. It, the magic didn't work. Yeah. She's too nice. But doing that kind of establishes trust, huh? Like, he trusts her more there because she didn't do such a thing. Ooh, this is looking like some Wild West shit. Some cowboy territory, sand land. Welcome. We don't take too kindly to your top around here, boy. Did Mr. Punch give you some supplies? Oh, shit, let's go! Mr. Punch is such a good guy, man, and Adonis still didn't even say thank you at the end. Huh. That is actually pretty cool. You know in Dragon Ball, capsules, you know? Okay, but... <laughs> Alright, punt. But you know in Dragon Ball, they have these capsules you can store like big items in, and you just throw it and just boom like that. There's just a random prisoner in here. What what the fuck he gave me a fee service for? Okay, it's not him. Ignored. <laughs> ignored. <laughs> Dorka just always gets ignored. Yes. You know? He baited me. Who's been feeding you guys? Who's that lady in the bed? That ring? What about that ring? What does that ring do? Who's been feeding these people if they're stuck in here? Yeah. What happened here? This guy's fucking trolling, dude. <laughs> kind of funny, though. Might be the best choice, to be honest. Yeah, you smell like shit, old man. <laughs> yeah, how? No, but people left a long time ago. I. How has he been eating? Like, how, how is he alive? <laughs> Fuck no! That's for. She's too nice. She's actually too kind. And you know what? Being a nice and a kind person is a good thing, but sometimes. Nice and naivety. There's, there's a gray line, okay? Was he locked in there? I bet he could go in and out as he pleases. And who is this person? What do they need? Oh, it's... <gasps> oh! Oh, that's... F 
That's twisted. That's, you know what's even more twisted? How long does a hair stay on that? Is that a wig? Do wigs stay on the skulls like that for a long time, bro? Do you think that he may, like intensely got a wig on the skeleton? That's fucked up for me to say. But that ring is like a wedding ring, huh? That's why it probably smells like shit too when I dance and this place disgusts me. <laughs> Dude, this is a guy crying over his dead wife to the point he can't even let her go. He keeps her here, and I'm just making memes. It's moving. No, I think it just fucking moved a little bit because he moved. Yo, the skeleton even has a bit of an ass there too. Do you see the curves? I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Sasha, how did she die? Was she a witch? Did she get hunted? Adonis is actually being such a polite and respectful person, understanding what they need, just silence and just aloneness, you know, just, li just leave them alone. All right, and that's the episode. Another chill episode. Ah, I mean, the intro part was very funny, right? With Dorothy being like a K-pop idol, and they're like, oh my god, they're like the idol dance and everything from Japan now. It, when you have moments like that in this show where it's always like despair, just die, revenge, kill everybody, genocide, then you give me some of fucking idol stuff. It's just the gap mode is out of fucking nowhere. That shit was actually hilarious. That first part, fantastic. Second half, kind of weak, right? I'd say it's, bit, it's even weaker than like the last episode of just like, Mr., like visiting Mr. Punch. Like, do we give a fuck about this guy? Not really. I guess we're just kind of going around to kind of explain like what's happened ever since the gear expansion and the outcome of different places and stuff like that. But I guess that's necessary as like building blocks as we move forward. But I'm sure next episode is going to be more fun, okay? But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.